Hey guys, John here. Today's patch is a creepy music box made in Harmer. Alright, so I think you get the idea. So this patch is actually very easy to make. There's a little couple of things that we do need to talk about to really kind of bring this thing to life. So generally, the first thing, first thing I like to do is having this random all the way on the left. So we have 100% spectral randomness. It's always the thing I kind of go to. I think it has a really cool sound to it. A lot of the other stuff is not going to be used. So as you see here, the, the sub stuff, the, uh, the unison, tremolo, blur, prism, harmonizer, that kind of stuff. We're not going to be using really any of that. So the magic here is going to be in this plux section here. And before we really dive into this, the only really thing that's happening is we have the crude low pass here at 75%. The low pass for the resonance is going to be 31. And that's kind of really the meat and potatoes as far as the filtering goes. Now, the interesting spot of this, of this patch is going to be the pluck. Now, this is at 6%. And this pluck shape, so if you drag down this list here, you're going to find pluck shape all the way on the right-hand side on the third co column here, kind of in the middle-ish or so. And when we make this shape here, this is basically controlling the partials or kind of the, the decay of the, of the pluck shape. If you're kind of confused by this, uh, you can look in the video description below and follow the, uh, the lengthy, lengthy tutorial I've done on this synth. But if you do know this is, this is kind of the shape that I came up with to kind of make this sound what it is. Now for the effects here, we have a little bit of delay and some reverb. The rever reverb is going to be an F. For the filtering, the low cut is 75.13 hertz. The high cut is 4071.54. The, uh, the, uh, the pre-delay is at zero, so we don't have to worry about that there. Size, 40%. The diffusion, 100%. Decay, 1,493 milliseconds. And the dampening, 4,000 hertz. And then uh, the last one here is going to be the wet, which is 50%. And then for the delay, it's going to be on on ping pong, which is one of my favorites. If you guys didn't know that delay input volume, 37%, the filter at the bottom is going to be off. And the one at the top is going to be off as well, because we're kind of doing something a little bit different, which we're going to talk to in just a second. The feedback is 30% and the time is three. And then the, um, the offset is 25%. So that's basically what's happening inside the synth. So really the creepiness is if you're kind of hearing that pitch modulation, good ear on that. And that is happening on the channel strip. So generally when I like to make creepy stuff is I bring up my plugin here called Demonic because I like the creepiness, so that's why I built it into a plugin. So what we're hearing here, if we just solo the uh, this plug as well, just by itself, and we bypass this plugin, that's what we're hearing. However, if we take the master bypass off, take a listen to how that changes the sound. So what's happening here is I didn't touch my EQ change here. I did add a little bit of saturation to kind of add some more harmonics in there and kind of really bring them to life. Now this old time intensity is basically in the old time speed is in a nutshell, it's going to be a randomized LFO that's kind of randomly moving in between values. And this speed is going to be how fast that's moving and it's attached to the pitch of our signal here. So we're going to have a random LFO kind of changing the fine tuning of what we're hearing here. And that's kind of what's really simulating that really creepiness stuff. Now, if you listen to the tail end of the reverb, it almost sounds like there's dogs in the background that are kind of barking, that's kind of hard to make out. So take a listen to that again. So that is done here in this reverb module as well. So we're gonna have quite a better bit of reverb and then this delay is gonna be kind of cranked, but really the creepiness of that reverb is these two purple knobs here, this mod and this mod speed. And that's really what kind of drives that creepiness to this patch in a nutshell. And if you would like to get this, this plugin, it's available for patcher, it's free. I've also linked the video of this patch itself if you're unfamiliar with it, where I walk through all the knobs and show you exactly what this thing does, how to download it and how to use it. So. 
With that being said, that's pretty much the icing on the cake for this patch, really to make anything creepy. And a little tip of advice, if you do get this plugin, this alien knob works very interestingly well with vocals. So I'm not going to spoil exactly what it does, but it's, it has a really, really cool effect that took a little bit of time to kind of hone in. So with that being said, let's play us out with this music box here. And as always, if you would like to get this, uh, this plugin or the patch for free, check the video description below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.